What better way to see how wide our axle needs to be to fit in the suitcase than to mock it up in the suitcase? Isn't that the cutest little axle? So we're all gonna get detained. They pulled my bag to the side for yeah. some reason. They pulled the bag. There he goes. That's the last we'll see of him. I hope not. Today on Cars and Cameras, we are building one of the world's smallest go-karts to fit in our carry-on luggage when we fly out to Go Power Sports for their first annual pull start picnic. And with only three days and 22 inches by 14 by 9 inches high, it's going to be a tight fit. But we're going to do it. Like I said before, we only have 22 by 14 by 9 inches to work with, and this engine, fully dressed, is coming in at... 13 inches tall. So it's looking like we're gonna to have to cut weight, gonna ditch the exhaust, probably gonna relocate the fuel tank, but that's gonna get us just at like eight and a half inches. Should be pretty good. So let's get some tools and strip this engine down. That thing did not want to come off. It <laughs> fought me the entire way. That engine just shed a lot of size. This is great, dude. Like I can see our butts fitting like right there, sitting on top of this engine. It's yeah, not too bad. with with a plate, of course. We, we ought to get a tractor seat to put up there. I said carefully. Uh, I think we can start with the frame now. All right. So I'm working on the engine cradle on this thing. This is the very bottom part of the frame, and. I've got these angle irons. They're gonna be uh, right here, but I gotta figure out where to put the, uh, the bolts at on this angle iron. So what I'm doing is I'm shoving a paper towel in the bolt holes, throwing some paint on it. And then when I place this where it needs to go, the paint is transferred and I can drill a hole and that's where the engine mount's gonna be at. Not bad, Not bad dude. Yeah, meanwhile, Charles is working on the steering right now. Yeah, I'll show you what I started with and what we're gonna end up with. Isn't that so cute? Oh, it's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> All right. Isn't that the cutest little axle? I mean, it that's is. where it's going to be steering, it's right there. It's so tiny. Nice. Not too bad. I see you. So, just getting ready to uh, mock up this front axle. So we're going to go with a, uh, a lift kit style, because if we want it lower, we can just flip it. But we're going to set everything up with ground clearance in mind. Just gonna set it up just like that. And then the steering tabs come off. And then there's, look at, look how tiny that is. It's, I know, that's cute. All right, cool. Somebody's proud of themselves. So all four wheels have to fit. Ba-doom, 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 ba-doom. Ba-doom. This will work. Good. It, you know, it might, we might have to It'll self tweak it a little bit, but <laughs> that, that too, yeah. yeah. But good to go. All right, dude. So I think now is the point to just try to figure out how we're going to sit on this thing. And as the largest and heaviest person here, uh, I'm going to hop up on this table and see what we can do here. I'm kind of thinking of foot pegs off to the side, like right there. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh God. You sat on the engine. I'm sitting right directly on the engine. Look at that tiny go-kart is. But, dude, I think it's doable. Okay. Oh boy. Now, if, if we want, we can do something like a removable bicycle seat. 
All right. Well, I think we should get the frame built. Definitely need to get and the then, frame built first, but I mean, I'm I'm pretty happy with the way things are uh, shaping up okay. so far. So no no huge or no little things we need to worry about. <laughs> so let's uh just small problems. Just. <laughs> Left turn. Okay. So we're good. That's the tiniest little front axle we've ever built. Isn't it though? Perfect. Okay. Crap. Well, I think <laughs> if we remove a pin. Like uh, remove the we front also, wheels, maybe? We also need to trim. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll the... drill and we'll, we'll probably put cotter pins for the <laughs> rear wheels. Same yeah. thing for the fronts. All right. First test fit. Yep. 80%, uh, 75% there. Yep. <laughs> oh. Oh, dear. Hey, that's not bad. I mean, I mean once usually we get, that's once we get it. That's what my luggage looks like when I'm trying to pack. So. The front wheels will come right off and set down in there nicely. And we can take the wheels and do this. They'll never know. Let's go, guys. What we've got here can't exceed 50 pounds. So I'm hoping right now we've got maybe 40 pounds because we still have to add more weight. Okay, we're under 40 pounds. Really? Oh, yeah, like 38. Nice, with the suitcase. I mean, give or take. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's awesome, boys. Dude, it's like a little RC car. Feels about like the same weight. Or a battle bot. Man, Dude, we need to make bot. this one uh, remote controlled. That would be so dangerous. That would be a leg breaker Man, for take sure. An ankle out for sure. You could roll, do some roll. serious property damage with this bad boy. Yep. Or we could make it RC and tow a push mower behind it. That would be cool. It would just do burnouts. It wouldn't oh, even go yeah. anywhere. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Look, how fast can you dismantle? Oh, it's like the Jeep. It's like the military yeah. Jeep. And they put it back together during the parade. Oh. The wheels are off. Dude, it looks like a car in the uh... middle of town. Yeah, oh God. No, you didn't. So you're telling me that's the chassis? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. So the felony sized elephant in the room. <laughs> yeah, we just had a nose goes there whose name whose name this Who is owns elephant. this as we go through the security checkpoint and, at the airport? And I was stating, I got a family, man. <laughs> I was stating I have no problem with being the owner of this. I am the oldest person. If I get put on some sort of do not fly list. You do, I'm okay yeah, with you it. Do, you do like the, the I solo prefer, drives. I prefer driving over flying anyways. Yeah. So I will be glad to be the owner of this. And if anyone gets in trouble, and it's it's fine. I'm the owner. Okay. Well, yeah. you heard it here. I'm down with For, it. What is it? The FBI. It'll be fine. The FBI is going to get this tape. <laughs> oh, 
So while Charles is welding up our frame, our actual go-kart frame, one-handed, uh, I'm going to be working on stripping off all the unnecessaries off of this engine and uh, figuring out how to hook up the linkage and possibly uh, a seat pan. So that's where I'm starting. So uh, let's talk about this engine that we have here. This is a three horsepower, 98 cc overhead valve engine. It has the same bolt pattern as a Honda clone, so it can bolt on uh, many different things. This is a perfect starter engine for either your kid or an adult that really wants a small engine. Uh, I really think that they, we can do some performance upgrades on this, which uh, maybe we might do in a later video or whatever. I can't wait to get on the inside of this thing and see what we got going on. Uh, 80 bucks, $80. You can't beat that with a stick. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get to stripping this stuff apart so it'll work on our mini go-kart. Most of the three-horse engines we've messed with have been the old flatheads. And uh, this one, being an overhead valve, I think that the performance, we'll, we'll probably see a lot more out of one of these engines over a flathead engine. So I cannot wait to get in this thing and do our performance mods. Did I mention it's only $80? Yeah, yeah. It's looking good, man. I mean, it's there. I, I put a little paint job on it because, you know, uh, we're going mini to a bike, bike show. We're going to a bike show, so something's got to be customized on it. If yeah. we cut the edges down and stuff and cut the handle off and get her down, it might Why be able to Why turn work. it upside down? Oh, that's even worse. Like a snow shovel? Dude, it's perfect, especially with your legs up. What? You got a hang kill butt. What are yeah. you talking about? Oh. Good You're gonna have to subscribe to the. Uh, good thing it was camouflaged. Yeah. Didn't see nothing. Hey, this has got a plastic timing gear in it. Dude, even the cam lobes are plastic. Okay, I mean. I'm serious. I've seen it before, but not. I'm so serial right now. So have you ever seen a plastic? Add, we can add lift with a hot glue gun. Yeah. So I'm not gonna do a video on removing that governor. It is gonna be just like any other governor removal video so i'm just going to go ahead and do that i'm going to clean up the gasket surface and i'm going to add a little bit of silicone so we uh we can put this thing back together and uh then i'm going to worry about uh putting a seat up here so we can sit on i don't know i forgot you, you forgot that we weren't going to paint it because of uh smells it just stinks on an airplane anyway. Yeah. It's just like it doesn't smell like it'll go kaboom is what we're worried about. I know. Yeah. How I drove my very first go-kart without an engine. I just pushed it up and down the driveway. So, I think everybody did that. It's got some chassis flex, doesn't it? Does it? Don't do it. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it got some chassis flex, but that's okay. We have... A remedy for that. Wait, why was removing the governor a priority in this project? Uh, the governor arm and stuff was going to be in the way of the seat. Oh, okay. I didn't want to sit on it and hit the throttle and it not return. Gotcha. So, got rid of the arm, which means I got rid of the governor. Oh. <laughs> now that we have our seat figured out on this thing, that'll be nice. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and mount the engine. Back on the frame. The way it's set up, it looks like it's doing a wheelie all the time. It's called the Carolina Squat. You know? 
Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Get it right. All right, so what we're doing is we are making the rear axle come in contact with the head. So when we sit on it, uh, the engine will actually keep the axle from getting closer to the engine. So cover. Yep. Whenever I pull <laughs> on the chain, the whole axle would move towards the engine. Not anymore? No, Not it anymore. doesn't. Which means it's going to support us. So we got one of these really cool um, drum brake. Uh, it's a drum brake that, that mounts on the clutch. They look really cool. The packaging is super tight on them. The problem is that if you lose your chain, you lose your brakes. But they look cool. <laughs> I think if we lose our chain and we're like, oh no, no brakes. Just a board. Just stand up. Do the brakes work? Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, we got to do the pegs too. Oh my God. <laughs> you got a spark plug in your butt? Oh God. <laughs> Ike's new nickname is Sparky. Right, Spark so. It's a weird camera angle right there, dude. Yeah, I know what it is. It's all <laughs> steering. That thing is literally as tall as like... It's a battle bot. It's like as tall as two of your shoes stacked. Yeah. Alright, tell me if there's any frame flex. You ready? Ooh. No. Dude, the tire is flexing. Okay. Nice. So I think we can uh, put a big old fat weld there. And, and we and put gas in it and we test not, it. It's not going to fit in the bag. It's wider. Isn't it removable? It is removable. It, it is. Um, this side fits. Yeah. That side doesn't. We can trim this side. Oh, okay, cool. Well, let's, okay. Yeah. We'll weld it? Uh, let's weld it and just okay. kind of sit on it and see if it's even feasible. Yeah. Oh boy. <coughs> hey guys, if I can ride it, y'all can ride it. Okay. Here we go. It's perfect. <laughs> it's good. It's going awesome. good. It's good. All right, boys. Y'all ready to see something happen? I think we're ready to test. All right. We got oil in it? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, bud. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's in. that is insane. It's crazy. I can't even get you in the same frame. Yeah. It's literally, it's two feet tall. <laughs> feet oh. as in like. I got the rate. I got the radar gun. No worries. Oh. Right. It might. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> 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 Dude, that is insane. Oh, it's so cool. 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 It's so cool.
try to give y'all a try before I tear it up. That is awesome. That is so cool. He's a madman. Works. I, I got sprayed in the butt. I got gas. Got gas. Right, so we need to put some zip ties on that. Or yeah, something. for sure. <laughs> Dude, guys. All right, right that's a good one. Charles, right All here, right. buddy. Oh, okay. I broke it. Okay, bud, now that we got our ride and it performs way better than I thought it would, let's weigh this thing and make sure it's under the 50 the pound carry-on limit. So the carry-on luggage is 6.8 pounds. So this thing can't be more than 43 pounds. 43.2. 40, 43 well, 42.2. Sure. Two. Warm. Dude, we're under 40 pounds. We are good. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. We are good. We are good. We are golden. That's with fluids in it. And this is, I think this is the world's smallest gas powered go kart. I think it is too. Here we go. So if we take if we take a half of an inch out of this and put it in there, I would stand it up right now and cart it around, but it's got oil and gas in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out right now. But I see, love it. It fits. There's an entire go kart in there. <laughs> yeah. I think we can pull this off. Yeah. Not returning that. And next year, the suitcase is going to be the go kart. And That's we just cool. ride on top of it. Look at this. And then put it back together. You put the steering. It reminds me of those old Japanese, like, uh, bikes and trikes and, and stuff. Like, I think Mazda did a suitcase little vehicle, and Honda did a couple of them, too. Mm-hmm. Super cool. And all we have to do is put the wheels on, and bada-boom, bada-bing. Bless you. Morning. Good morning. Oh, I see you've packed your luggage. I'm packed. I'm ready to go. All right. My bags are packed. I'm ready to go. I don't want to sing too much because copyright. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If this works out, this is how we retire. I, I'm wishful thinking. But you gotta start somewhere. Folding up some merch to bring to the pull start picnic. And also perfect. help cushion the... Uh... I know, I'm already ready with my neck pillow. I just didn't want to drop it on the ground. <laughs> oh, man. The t-shirts are about the uh, breaking point of this. Oh, okay. there we go. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a... A bulge. A, you know, like a Mitsubishi hood, but no big deal. Yeah. Power bulge. That's what it is. You ready to go? Yeah, man. Let's go, fellas. Is it gonna fit? It fit the yellow line. I think that fits, fellas. That does. does. You're done that fit? Bingo. Bingo. <laughs> yeah.
they pulled my bag to the side for yeah. some reason. They pulled the bag, so you gotta check it out. Oh, yeah. wait. They're bringing Ike's bag over. They're gonna take a look. They look pretty darn confused. What is that? Yeah. Alright, they're opening up the bag, taking the t-shirts off. They don't look super happy about it. They're saying we got all the fluids out of it. Alright, so they're saying it's gotta be checked. Not surprised. No, nope, there he goes. It's the last we'll see of him. I hope not. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> He's wearing less clothing. <laughs> He's wearing less clothing. I'm a big boy. <laughs> you made it. You I checked your bag luggage. all by yourself. Yeah, I'm a big boy. The only bummer is the bar doesn't open until 7. In the morning? Yeah. The bar <laughs> opens at 7 in the yeah. morning? But you gave it your best shot. I did. The supervisor was like, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Devices such as cell phones, tablets, and smartwatches must remain in airplane mode until after we land. Oh! I think I saw it. I think I just saw it. No, nah, that's not it. Is it? It might be it. Oh, dude, that might be it. I can't believe we built a go kart that small. It's, <laughs> it's so heavy. I thought they picked this thing up and was like, oh my god. Dude, should we look in there and make sure everything is situated, or do we want to wait we'll until save we... save it for a surprise? Yeah, let's wait. Let's save it for a surprise. Awesome, Because there's nothing they can do about it. Exactly. Yeah, good job, man. It's here in Texas. All right, let's get a rental car. <laughs> there's Charles. We're lucky hey, we that, got it back. That means we might be able to go home with it. We don't have to leave it here, do we? I think we'll leave it here. Okay. Don't we'll mess with it. Texas. All right. We made it. So we're gonna go see if uh, GoPro Force has got any parts for our GoPro. Okay. Thank you, sir. Hopefully it made it. Yeah, we haven't even opened it. I hope it's still in one piece. Just some metal shit. Does it really work? Yeah. <laughs> Did y'all? Oh, y'all didn't fly here. No, we flew. And they let that go on the. Did y'all carry on? We tried. They, I knew it. <laughs> they were like, you need to check this. I've tried to carry on a motor before, too. They just. Yeah. They don't do it. Where do you guys live? North Carolina. God, that is so cool. <laughs> 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 you got plenty of oil. We got, we got methanol. You want some methanol? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's actually kind of fast. <laughs> Yeah, Surprisingly fast. Looks like they're gonna have to get their concrete washed now. Oh yeah, we're already gonna need a new tire. Really? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man, I love this thing. It's perfect. Every time I rode it, everybody was just pointing and smiling. You can't, you can't beat that. So we built probably the world's smallest gas-powered go kart just to make the first annual full start picnic put on by Go Power Sports. And let me tell you. It won a lot of our fans' uh, attentions, yep. but it it stole our hearts. We absolutely love this little go-kart. 
This thing is a riot. It's fast. It's awesome. What do you think, Charles? It's pretty cool. I I backflipped it already in the parking lot in front of everybody, but that's okay. I put on a show. A little, little love-hate relationship, I think. But I like it. I hopped right back on it. You know, you you Why don't you? Oh, okay. All right. All right. Watch the Enterprise, man. Yep, we're done here. Yeah, so the, the chain is scraping. So I guess when I, let's see, when I sit on it, is the chain hitting the ground? Ha. Yep. Oh, yep, okay. We're spare tire time or we're done.